Mind Cage is a thriller that came out in 2022. It stars John Malkovich and world famous comedian and black all star Boo Capone. Oh. First, you grab a piece of meat, then you boil it in some heat. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's goddamn Martin Lawrence. Where the hell you been at, Martin? It's been like 15 years, bro. This nigga's at Carl's Jr. the whole time. Your ass gained like 100 pounds. That's all them damn my mama biscuits, I guess. You gotta ease up, bro. You a big Popeye chicken eating motherfucker, ain't you? Nah, all jokes aside, I was excited to see Martin again. And in a serious role this time, too. He's playing a cop for like the 20th time. I swear to God, this nigga really the police at this point. Every other movie, he's a cop. Is this, is it the mustache? But him and his partner, white lady, gotta solve some crimes and they gotta team up with a killer. Cat and mouse games is very thrilling. Not really. It's actually pretty bad. I had a pretty bad time. Let's see exactly what's going on with Mind Cage, the return of Martin Lawrence. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> so it starts off with Martin and the white lady pulling up to the first crime scene. They see the victim's body in this really elaborate pose, all covered in jewels and angel wings and shit. They think it was done by some killer named the artist, but he locked up. So clearly they got a copycat killer on their hands. Well, you're half an hour late. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> what were you guys talking about? Just some old demons. The next scene, we get our first look at the copycat killer. It's this hooded figure. He's got some ashy ass, chunky black hands. So that's a clue, I think. Oh no, this is goddamn Martin. Martin Lawrence, you better not be the killer. I swear to God. Uh, somebody done told you wrong, brother. They got another victim here turned into an angel statue. So they send this white lady in to talk to the artist in jail. It's 100% a fake ass Silence of the Lambs. It's pretty shameless. People remember the artist for the way he murdered and preserved six women, but he actually took seven lives. My partner of 15 years and a good friend. How much did this movie even cost? Look at this oh, damn I'm green glad. screen. Jesus Christ. How much did they pay John Malkovich? He's like an Oscar nominated actor. How does shit like this even get made? Like, how do you make your money back off something like this? We got paid $5,000 a piece. So the artist is really a French serial killer named Le Fervas. Le Fef? All right, yeah. He's two weeks away from being executed and he says he's not gonna help this white lady unless she helps him. If you saw some photos of the victims, maybe you would notice something that could help us. And if I notice something, what would be in it for me? My art supplies, they've been in the sheriff department storage since my arrest. The artist agrees to help, kinda, and all he wants is his art supplies back. They give him all his stuff and he decides to give them a clue. He says they should check out the wings on the latest victim. I mean, yeah, they should be checking the whole body, right? Y'all detectives, what the fuck kind of clue is that? Wow, that was uncalled for. What the hell is that? They find the clue in the wings and they take it back to their captain. Martin is suspicious of the clue and he suggests the coroner might be the killer or working with the killer. You might be onto something. We saw those black ass hands earlier. It's one of y'all niggas, bro. Wait, are those gloves or something? I don't know. The white lady goes to research the original case and they enter into this cheesy ass flashback of Martin versus John Malkovich. Ew, they went way overboard with this lighting. This deep fried ass flashback. Do you realize how bad shit crazy you are? This is such misguided thinking, Jacob. Oh yeah? I didn't lay a finger on it. Your partner set himself ablaze. I need to have a talk. I can't take any of this seriously. Martin, sit your ass down, man. This nigga built like Mr. Krabs. I think Martin is a good ass actor for the most part, but this movie is hella cliche. It feels like a 2007 ass throwaway movie. Martin Lawrence is barely awake through the whole shit. It's painful. This is a painful, painful movie. They do try to add some supernatural elements to spice things up. That makes it a little less generic, I guess. They have some weird voodoo rituals. I'm going to need a volunteer. Also, Martin takes this white lady to see this exorcist club. 
It seems like they're here looking for clues, which makes sense. But no, Martin brought her here to convert her to this religion, I guess. What even is this? This nigga definitely the killer, bro. Father, I was wondering if you could look into Mary's etheric aura. I believe she may need a healing. What are you talking about? I've been studying, learning new things. I want to share them with you. I thought you were different than Dutch and all the others, but I guess I was wrong. No, no, no. This episode of Princess Cinema is sponsored by ShipStation. Fall is here and the holidays are creeping up quick, but you can prepare your e-commerce business today with ShipStation. Whether you're shipping from a warehouse or your house, ShipStation can help you increase profitability. All the big ballers use ShipStation. Santa Claus, everybody. How do you think you get all them toys out so efficiently? ShipStation's dashboard integrates everywhere you sell online, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. ShipStation helps you streamline your whole shipping process. You can manage orders, print labels, compare rates, all from one dashboard. It's super easy, super useful. You'll get access to discounted shipping rates of up to 84% off from top carriers like USPS, FedEx, and UPS. Now is the perfect time to try ShipStation. You can ship more in less time and just focus on growing your business. It's worth it. You worth it. I love you. Go to ShipStation.com and use my code PRIM today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, promo code PRIM. Thanks for listening. You're a good entrepreneur, bro. Your business is going to do great. I believe in you. That's it, though. Now, let's get back to the video. Thank you, ShipStation. John Malkovich is locked in his cell, having his daily seizure. Apparently, he's been having seizures since he was a little kid. Look at this enormous jail cell. Sorry to get off track. This jail cell, hella nice, bro. At age 10, he sustained a blood clot on the brain after a fall. He spent the next two years in a wheelchair. So the artist gives them another clue, this super rare art book that's out of print, apparently. Nobody can get their hands on it. It's an art book. It says it's out of print. I know where we could find a copy. Oh, they just go to the regular ass public library and find the book instantly. Got you. They made a big deal about it being rare. I thought it was going to be some. Anyway, weird stuff starts to happen whenever John Malkovich has his seizures. Birds start acting crazy or something, I don't know. Also, there's this crazy junkie that keeps following the white lady around and threatening her. Sir, step away from the vehicle right now. You knock on the devil's door. He'll answer. It's the freak who broke into my house. You should have listened to me, Mary! So they find in the clues, more crazy stuff is happening. The lieutenant governor gets kidnapped and it's a race against the clock to find her. The artist helps out by giving us a long ass, dumb ass flashback. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. So his mom is a prostitute and she locks him in a closet whenever she be out hoeing. Also, she hates the fact that he's drawing Jesus all day and night. This movie's only like an hour and a half, but this shit feels like it's taking forever. What are you doing, Martin? You ain't say what's up, nothing. Did you need this check that bad? I feel like you could get way better movies than this, bro. Maybe he's just trying to break into some serious roles and this is the best choice somehow. Either way, I'm bored. Let's just, re let's reveal who the killer is. So the artist gives the white lady one final clue on how to save the lieutenant governor in time. They end up at the copycat killer's secret lair, this old farmhouse looking place. The devil man, here's the key. Where is he? He's right there. Step out with your hands above your head. Slowly. Mary. Oh, 
Oh my god. No prison can hold a man who's free inside himself. Remember, Mary? I promised to help you find the killer, Mary. And here he is. So Martin was the killer the whole time. How you like that? He's so crazy. So to sum up this plot twist for you, it turns out those seizures that John Malkovich was having, they weren't really seizures. It was him astral projecting into other people's bodies. Whoever he draws on a paper, he can travel inside their body. Pause. After capturing someone's likeness in a drawing, I can leave my own body and temporarily enter theirs. I kept it a secret for many years, fearing it to be a curse. Angel of death. No, 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 no! Bro, he didn't even get his art supplies back until after he agreed to help stop the killer. When did he draw Martin and take over his body? How did he do all those murders before he got the art supplies back? My art supplies, they've been in the sheriff department store since my arrest. Nah, whatever. Needless to say, this is a stupid ass plot twist. This is a stupid ass movie. They have a final shootout between this white lady and Martin Lawrence stunt double. I need a stunt double for this weak ass fall. He still ain't even do a good job. You gotta stop him, Mary. I just can't help it. I'm dying. The city can breathe easier thanks to Detective Mary Kelly, whose courageous actions ended the killing spree. Bro, this fake ass news broadcast. What news station is this? Look at this nigga. This crackhead ass anchorman. You couldn't have gotten a more convincing anchorman? This nigga like Joe Dirt. But the case is solved. Martin is dead and everybody thinks he's a murderer. John Malkovich takes over some guy's body and shows up at the funeral to gloat. But turns out the white lady has a secret plan of her own. See, I noticed you had this habit of chewing on the ends of your pencils. Just added a couple drops of your special ingredient, the same one that you used on your own mother. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> Yeah, so she poisoned the pencils and he dead now too. Happy ending. Look, I'm not an expert, but this movie is definitely a money laundering scheme. Why else would anybody make this? You took this old ass 90s serial killer script and you're using it to launder money. Now, shout out to Martin Lawrence. You a talented guy, but this ain't it. I mean, it's not his fault at all. I'm sure he knows the movie is bad too. This was just a paycheck to hold him over till Bad Boys 4. Whatever the case is, Mind Cage is out on Tubi now if y'all wanna watch it. Big shout out to my sponsor. Big shout out to the Patreon homies. I'll be back next week with some more hood movie reviews. I can't ever say that, bro. Hood movie, hood movie reviews. I thought I would just drop in and share this Martin Lawrence serial killer movie. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay though, now it's over.